Welcome back, everyone. So, wow, what a surprising article that was. Um, uh, Basically, as you've just read, uh, this article is about a doctor uh, in Italy, or a group of doctors, I should say, uh, not lay people like me and John, <laughs> professional doctors who have performed a very uh, delicate and um, uh, precise operation on a saxophonist. Uh, and unbelievably, almost, he was awake during his brain surgery. Not only was he awake, but he was playing his saxophone during the surgery. Um, this was uh, for a specific purpose. The scientists wanted to study uh, about the neural pathways. Um, they weren't just wanting a bit of free entertainment while they worked. Um, and, uh, and so yes, um, uh, as shocking as it sounds when you first read it, um, it's actually quite painless. You only need a local anesthetic um, to have brain surgery because there are no neurons, uh, pain, re pain receptors. There's many neurons. Oh, sorry, yes, many <laughs> there are no pain receptors yeah. uh, in the brain itself, so you can't feel it. It doesn't hurt uh, when they're fiddling around mm. in there. Um, so yes. Uh, a pretty high stakes operation, one mm -hmm. false move and it could all be over. Mm -hmm. um, but it all went very successfully and um, uh, the, the saxophonist was fine at the end. Now, riddle me this. Mm -hmm. If your brain doesn't have pain receptors, how do you get headaches? <laughs> well, <laughs> do you want the real answer? No. Okay. No, I don't I know. Everyone here knows the real answer. Okay. Yeah. Or at least they can look it up on Google mm -hmm. if they really want to. Yes. It's not for us to answer. Like qualities do you think you need to have to be a good surgeon? I'd say no, for surgery, mm -hmm. not just any other kind of doctor, you need to have great hand skill and not shake even in the slightest. I'm here to do your brain surgery. Uh -huh. yeah. Absolute yeah. calm Yeah. and muscle control. Of course, that's why Dr. Strange could no longer do surgery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. But he could do magic. Don't need as much control, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. mm -hmm. I'd just say hand strength or hand skill? Hand skill and patience. Um, you know, most surgeries I hear about, they can take a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, You've got to have a strong stomach as well. If you you oh, cannot yeah. be, you know, puking or fainting at the sight of blood. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I didn't think about that, but absolutely, you have to be able to open up a a living human being, um, and be able to to look and operate without yeah getting queasy. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's I don't know. That would be difficult. That'd be too much for me. I think I, I get a bit lightheaded when I see open wounds or a lot of blood. So I'm out. I don't know if I'd have like the mental faculty to get through that type of surgery, mm -hmm. like nine hours and then seeing someone's brain. I know it's not pumping, but there's still like blood and you have to suck the blood out. Oh, uh, no. And the noises of surgery yeah. must be. <laughs> oh, the bone saw. No. no. You know what? I'm never having surgery. Mm -hmm. I'll just die. <laughs> no, luckily, most of the time you'll be asleep. Yeah. Mostly, yeah. unless you're having brain surgery. Apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would be like, just put me to sleep. If you ruin something, you ruin something. Mm -hmm. Surely there must be other jobs that are pretty uh, painstaking, you know, that require a lot of really great hand mm -hmm. skill and patience. And... I actually did one of these jobs, I would say. Mm -hmm. I uh, was a tile setter for a while. Oh. I installed tile for people's homes. And when you're in a commercial setting, it's a bit easier because you can just kind of like slap down and go. Mm -hmm. But in a home setting, especially the more high-end homes, you have to be really precise. Mm -hmm. So like you are, at first, when I'm a newbie, you are like measuring and leveling and doing everything. But when you get better, you can kind of feel your way around. But yeah, I would say that was a... Definitely a painstaking job, mm -hmm. especially when you're setting like really tiny tile mm -hmm. for hours mm -hmm. and your eyes are just like, can we die? Can we pop out <laughs> and sleep? You can do this alone, right? Yeah. I'd mm -hmm. say that's, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, or anyone, have you seen those people who make lace? Oh, I don't want to see them. You know I, I, like I know what lace is mm -hmm. and I, I feel like that would just be nerve wracking to watch those videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it looks like a very painstaking job. And all they day probably all day. have like glasses now. So mm -hmm. There's no way that their eyes haven't been ruined by that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. 
crisis. I think all this talk of surgery has ruined me. <laughs> I'm like being very negative. <laughs> oh, no. Not surgery, not painstaking yeah, things. Yeah, mm. exactly. Wow. I think... Uh, from from TV shows, whenever you see surgeons on TV, they're always a bit jockey, you know, a bit yeah. rough, tough. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm sure, you know, to, to be a surgeon, yes, you're highly trained and study and yes, you are amazing. So they probably have the right to say that. But um, still, they just seem very tough, you know, yeah. um, even the ladies, you know, you've got to be fearless. Mm -hmm any self-doubt and you'll, uh, you know, yeah, you'll mess yeah. it up. I think that's a big part of it. Mm -hmm. Even though in personal lives, having self-doubt might be a good thing mm -hmm. in uh, the professional life of a surgeon, maybe self-doubt during surgery, maybe not so good. I can do this. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're not going to die. Mm -hmm. But obviously sometimes people die. And that's why I have insurance. <laughs> Moving on. Let's take a moment to take a look at some of the vocabulary we have met in this article. And we will see you next time. Tumor. Tumor. Neural pathway. Neural pathway. Faculty. Faculty. Inoperable. Inoperable. Proximity. Proximity.